So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the C1130 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is the Nissan C1130 code? Well, it's an engine signal one. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called an ABS control module, which is a computer that controls the brakes. It gets information from different sources like the wheel speed sensor, how the engines run in, like the RPMs and different things like this. And it calculates all this information and works with this actuator to help control the vehicle with things like with traction control, cruise control, anti-lock braking, forward emergency braking, and different things like this. And when you get a C1130 code, for some reason, this ABS computer module, it doesn't have all the information it needs to do the calculations to complete the functions that it's supposed to be doing, such as the traction control or the anti-lock braking and things like this. And one thing to note about this C1130 code is that many people automatically think it's the computer module when usually that's not the problem. Usually there's another problem going on with like the engine or something like that that's causing the issue. And basically this ABS module can't get the information it needs. So then it throws out this code because this ABS module takes different inputs from different sources and then it does its calculations to control the brakes. And if it doesn't have this information, if there's some kind of issue going on that it's not receiving this information, then it's going to send out the C1130 code until it does get that information and can do the calculations it needs. So for example, say there's some kind of problem going on with the engine and you go to scan for codes and you get a P0340 code, which is a problem with the camshaft position sensor. And when you get that code, the engine computer control module is not going to be able to calculate the RPMs and it's not going to be able to send this information to like the ABS control module, which needs that information to do its calculations. And so it's going to send out this C1130 code. So for this reason, the first thing to do is look for other computer codes because very likely there is some other type of code on there. There, and there is some kind of other issue that once you fix that issue, then the C1130 code will go away. It is also possible that that ABS control module has failed, but again, if it has, then you're going to get another code. So you would get something like a U0121 code, lost communication with the anti-lock brake system, ABS control module, or if there was a problem with one of the other control modules, like the engine control module, you'd get a U0100 code. If you got a U0101, that would be an issue with the transmission control module. And so if you are getting these codes that start with the U, then there could be a problem with that ABS module or one of the other computer control modules. And when that happens, it can also be in something along the lines of like the CAN bus, which is basically all the wires running around all the different control modules. So if you do have some kind of U code and you start hearing the words CAN bus, all that means is it's all the wires that run around all the different control modules, along with right where they plug in and how they all communicate with each other. Also, if you do have any U codes, be sure to check that your battery is good, that you don't have any blowing fuses, and that the alternator is charging correctly. It's because all these different computer control modules, they all need a good, stable power supply, or else it could cause issues and cause problems. So if you do have the C1130 code, but you also have U codes, first thing to do is check that battery, the alternator, and all your fuses. And so basically when you get a Nissan with the C1130 code, all it means is that that ABS control module doesn't have all the information it needs to complete the functions that it's supposed to do. This usually means that there's some kind of other issue going on with like the engine or the transmission or something like that. And so look for other codes and then troubleshoot that problem and the C1130 code should go away. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the C1130 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.